Welcome back to my channel. This is a update to the Angel Braid collection Goddess Locks I did, uh, what, two, three years ago? I'll link the video below and it'll be linked at the end of this uh, video. But at any rate, I have a new method, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm able to get my hair done, keeping in mind I have an undercut, and within a half an hour or so, um, including the braids and the... You, well, you'll see. We're about to just jump into it. I'm literally going to show you how I went to this from this. Okay, right here you'll see that I'm just tucking that last braid or crocheting that last braid and weaving it through the existing or the actual corn rolls to conceal it. Um, and I'm just going to let you guys watch. I will chime in if I feel I need to say something. But other than that, just get into this video. Just a little tip that I like to use or let me rephrase that something I discovered and you may not agree with this but I I leave the last braid long some people like to cut it make it a little bit shorter or they don't add as much hair to their braid so um, it is automatically shorter once they get to the end I like to leave it long and I like to weave it back and forth in and out uh, through and through up and under <laughs> because I feel as if it makes it more secure um, they tend to slip after a while from pulling on your braids and or whatever or your crochets in general um, if you have like an inch or two left of your hair um, that you're braiding so I like to leave it as long as possible so I can weave it in and out and it, it tends to stay longer and last longer and doesn't unravel as easily and doesn't slip out as easily so that's just a little tidbit something I picked up and I after getting the first one in, I like to, um, and what, with these in particular, um, these faux locks in particular, I like to put a finger in between as a spacer to ensure that I'm not putting them too close together, um, that they're not too far apart either if you're trying to space them out because basically you know to make these look as real as possible you don't want to fill just fill your head with them you know you don't want to line them up especially I mean because with crochets normally you do the outer perimeter as tight as possible so it conceals the braid but with these it really doesn't matter it's gonna look glunk, clunk, clunky you want it to look messy the older they get the better they look especially when the braids aren't your corn rolls aren't as distinguishable as they are when you initially do it. So for the braid to show, it's not that big of a deal. And you'll you'll see at the end. I have pictures of, you know, um, you know, I, I have pictures from when they were new. Of course, you're going to see it in this video when they're f freshly completed. But towards the, at the end, I have pictures of as they're getting older. You, you'll see my hair growing out and all of that, and they just look awesome the older they get and you you can't even see the braid in between trust me oh and I realized I do actually have six braids um, I was trying to grow my hair back around the perimeter and um, so that I was able to catch those sides at that point so I was able to put six braids in and um, I think it turned out nicely I've realized I have OCD so I need things to be as even as possible so that's why you see me going from side to side I like to make sure wherever I put one on one side I put it in almost the exact same spot on the other so it looks as if you know these were these dreads were done by a professional they were done you know uh, by nice little parts I don't want the true messy look I don't want bohemian not bohemian what are they called Rastafarian dreads that are just clunky or just done you know just done I want them to look as neat and as organized as possible so I like to go back and forth to ensure that both sides of my head is are, is even and has the same amount of dreads in it and as close as possible I mean of course you'll see in this video that they're not sometimes I have six on one and Sometimes I'll, I'll put seven, you know, I actually go back and fill in some more when I get done at the end um, because it just looks sparse in some areas. But ultimately, I like to go back and forth just to make sure it's as even as possible. 
you know, I do have um, a bit of OCD and I like things even, but I can pull back and, and not make it perfect. I don't go crazy with it. But it is a nice balancing act. It's nice to keep it as balanced as possible. Um, it just looks better when you're swooping it to one side or you're um, pulling it up into a, into a ponytail um, to have the right amount of tendrils hanging on both sides. It's just, you know, to me it looks better. And it's easier to do more quickly when you can count out, okay, I got four here and four there and pull them up, you know. So, I know I'm rambling. Sorry, I'm going to let you keep going with the video. <laughs> In the old video, um, you'll see that I literally braided my hair in little block braids all over my head. Um, once again, disclaimer, I have an undercut. So it's just the top of my head, but it took a lot of time to part everything and to size everything out right and to braid all the way down to the end of my hair. That took long enough, let alone the fact that I then had to crochet each um, crochet into each individual braid and then weed my hair through the lock so that it was concealed and hidden. Um, that took, I know at least two hours if not longer because it was my first time as well so I was learning as I was going but at any rate um, I came up with a new method as you can see in this picture I literally have I think four or five straight bags or is it six is it two on the sides I'll put the number up here when I figure it out but anyway um, I just have some straight bags and four individual braids or in this case twists um, <clears throat> in the front and actually they're braided mid they're braided down about an inch and then they're twisted to save time because it was taking too long to braid <clears throat> but anyway I'm gonna show you what basically what I do is I just put them on each braid space them out and then I do the only individuals I do are in the front which saves so much time
Okay, so we're almost done. Um, we just have to do the individuals across the front. And you'll see here that I'm just crocheting the base of the uh, individual the same way I would the a cornwall, or I had been doing for the cornholes. Once you're done with that, you want to measure the length of your twist or braid against the dreadlock so you know where to start weeding your crochet needle up through the dreadlock in order to pull your braid through. So you'll see me doing that here. And you just want to slowly go up through the dread. If it pops out here and there, that's really not that big of a deal. You just want to weed it back into the dread. But as you can see, I didn't have any issues with this one. And, and most of the time you don't. You just want to try to stay in the center of the street. Hold the dread, the dreadlock straight so that you can go straight up through the middle. Once you get to the top, you want to get as close to the base as possible. You want to go ahead and pop out of the dread. Clasp your braid or twist into the crochet needle. Um, making sure you have a little bit hanging out and just pull it through and it's that simple you can see a little piece of my hair popping out there um, I just kind of twisted it a little bit and, it, and pulled the dread a little bit more to give it some more length and it, it, it will slide in there but if you don't measure appropriately you will have some of your hair hanging out so just keep watching you'll see how that goes and um, it's easy enough hopefully I've explained it well enough and you understand So this is what it's looking like y'all now that it's all done you can tell that the four individuals right in the front can seal everything behind it you can't even tell that I have the straight backs in there but ultimately here are some additional pictures that show um, you know the progression of the hair and how good it looks as it gets older If you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe so you can keep up with what I'm doing. If you want me to try a particular type of hair, let me know in the comments. And um, come back and see me.